coming to you from 10,375 feet in the Uintas in Utah, which is nowhere where I live. See some big mountains behind me. See my brother Jonathan over there. Most people call him John, but that's what he grew up being called. And there's my brother, I mean my friend, he can be my brother if he wants. That's my friend Jared over there. We're about to go on a backpacking trip, so stay tuned. All right, we're gonna hike at six miles. So we're hiking, there's only, the problem is, is there's one um, turn off and it doesn't have, it's not listed. And then we're just going to Spread Eagle? Yeah, we're going to Spread Eagle. So we're going to camp. We're going to do I, what? We're going to, we're going to get Spread Eagle. We're going to, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to step in some horse poop. We're walking through a burnt over area next to a lake that we don't know the name of. You can see all the trees are just sticks, but the flowers are starting to grow back, which is mostly a natural occurrence in areas like this. I've been told by my guide, Jared, back there that we're looking for a trail turn off with a sign that's not there. Basically a stick with a board with no words on it. And that's what that's where we turn. Alright, so we found uh, the sign that was previously unmarked. Looked like it had a plastic sheet with a sign in it before, but somebody actually scratched in Naturalist Basin. I think this is Four Lakes, but it looks like HL, so that was a little counterproductive since it doesn't look like what it's supposed to. But we're going this way, so here we go. One of a few lakes that we've come across, and I think this is probably by far the biggest lake. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, this is a very nice lake. Is this, uh, this is where we're going to be camping? Yeah, or? this is Everman Lake. Oh, this is Everman Lake. I think we might be camping here. It's very soft ground. 
beautiful views a little bit of sunshine not bad at all so how high are we here let me check my trip computer uh does you see it oh there's the camera boom 10,523 feet in elevation 6.22 miles moving time two hours 21 minutes stopped for like 25 minutes max speed six miles an hour moving average 2.6 miles per hour pretty good lake that I forgot the name of and uh, what Everman. Everman Lake and we are about to uh, take a little traverse from our campsite to see a waterfall so beautiful place we got here and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some water in this fall it's a stupid thing to say and right, explain that one more time where we are. Where are we this is the east fork of the Duchesne River. It's in there, right? Like in the middle of this yeah, field. Yeah, rhino's running to it, right? right. Gonna jump in it. It's, a, it's a creek. It's a creek. Yeah. There's not a lot happening. And you can see the waterfall off in the distance there that we're walking to. This looks like a great place. We were just talking about how this would be a great place for elk to come and graze, and in fact, they do. So I'm hoping to see a herd come through here, either today or tomorrow. I'm going to be here a while. Get across this thing. Not like that. Oh, good. Alright, folks. I think I... Jonathan got all the way up to the top of that waterfall and uh, he was just there right where the water was falling over but I think I'm going to make it up there. I'm tired. You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I had to scramble over all these rocks over here and uh, it's like the surface of the moon. And nobody likes the moon.
the next morning. We, uh, I just watched the sunrise. I took a time lapse, but I think it was the sun itself was right off of the shot, which kind of sucks. But anyway, it started raining last night about 7 o'clock, and then we went through a pretty severe lightning storm for the next three hours. And I uh, finally got up at 10 o'clock to use the bathroom, and then I just went to sleep. And luckily the lightning kind of fizzled out at that point. So I got up early to check out the sunrise. We got the mist on the lake here. Looking pretty nice. But uh, today we're going to climb one of these mountains over here. I think it's called Spread Eagle Peak. And it's going to be a pretty tough hike. So I'll keep you posted with some video.
Hey everybody, just made it to the top of Spread Eagle Peak here. Elevation about 12, six we, we think, right around there. And uh, nothing around here but downhill views. Lots of lakes and glacial basins and cirques and all that kind of fun stuff. All those alpine terms. Yeah, we got a big stack of rocks over here where McGee is. About to take some pictures. Come up on my 41st birthday, so I'm gonna blow up some 41 balloons now that I caught my breath. Number 41, we are not blowing up 41 balloons. I'm not blowing up 41 balloons, Jonathan says. The number 40. Four and one. Thanks for clarifying. Don't want anybody to be misled when they see you only have two balloons. That's only two balloons. <laughs> I'm canceling my subscription. There you go. Farted. All right, now we are on our way back down. Probably won't take any more pictures or video till we get to the campsite. Whoa. two nights here at the lake summoned a mountain now we're walking out I got this thing on my head for the mosquitoes that want to buzz into my ears but uh, just heading back to the car no big whoop all right everybody we are back at the parking lot a good seven miles back out and so I guess that's the end of it hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and see you next time Yay.